Okay, so this is the kit that, that's at each, that it's at every folding. Um, <coughs> so start off with, we've got the, the old ropes here that, uh, uh, I think these ropes have been with us 20 years, they've folded a lot of mares, but they're very important. Uh, they go on the foal's feet just to help us out. We have oxygen, if the foal has got in trouble, if it's taken longer than normal and things, we can uh, we put that little tube up their nose and pump a bit of oxygen into them, it just gives them a boost. A barrel of lube with a pump in it um, that we can um, that we can pop into the mare if we feel as though it's going to be tight. A bit of selenium in its mouth afterwards, uh, orally straight after foaling and a tetanus shot. In our kit here, that gets a bit more serious if we run into trouble. We have on hand uh, what's called Dopram, um, and that, that helps lung stimulation if the, if the foal's not breathing. And uh, then adrenaline if, um, if uh, their heart's not not going that can be um, that can be uh, pumped into them just to just to start things up. Foals are always presented or we hope always presented with their front feet forward and their nose sitting on top and um, problems that you can have from the from the outgo is um, is you know the legs can be back front legs can be back or head can be back um, but nine, nine, probably 95% of these mares would, uh, would actually foal on their own. But when you get into trouble, um, you get into trouble very quickly and you, and you have to be able to make a decision very quickly to, um, to, to try and fix the problem. That's the, that's the feet showing now. And that white bag is the sack that the foal's in. We just put a bit of lube in because she's being a maiden, she's tight. Once those shoulders come through, makes the job a bit easier. Good girl. Beautiful. See that umbilicus is still hooked up? So it can pump a bit more blood in there. We will sit them up on their chest so their lungs expand. It's broken there now, so, so Bev will get that. One, two, three. So you naturally find yourself when, when it's out like that, checking, obviously checking that it's breathing all right, that its legs look all right, that it's got two eyes. Not that you can do a lot about that if it hasn't. <laughs> oh, we had a filly there. Girl, Bev's just sprayed the umbilicus there. We'll give it its shots in that there now and I'll tie up these membranes. So you can see it doesn't take long. And old Louie, he's a bit of a midwife. You sort of make sure everything's going all right and they're all nice and clean, don't you, Louie? <laughs> come on, baby. That's a good fault. You can come for a little trip. And that's the time we all love, isn't it, Bev? That, that, that little bit of bonding. Bev's getting a bit of the colostrum there now. Just test its quality. So this bit here is the sack that the foal was actually in, called the amnion. This bit here, which is still mostly inside the mare, is called the allantois, and that is the that is the surface between um, that's on like on the uterus that, that and the, and that that is uh, where all the transfer of blood, and nutrients, and everything goes through into the foal. Sometimes they're quite funny to watch. You know, they'll tip over forward and tip over backwards as they're getting those legs going because. You know, those legs are long, they're, they're, they're nearly as long as the, the mother's. And the thing that always amazes me is, is in two years' time, somebody will be sitting on its back, giving, putting a whip around its bum, bloody trying to win a race. Out of bed. We clean the udder down first because she's been lying down there on that ground and picking up any sort of bugs and things on the ground as she's been foaling. And when the foal starts nuzzling around it, it can pick up bacteria at that stage. Tidy things up. Yeah, she's got a bit of pain. Otherwise, it all dries hard on them. And you can see this, uh, the membranes are starting to <coughs> move their way out and drop, drop out already. That's going to drop out in the next few minutes. And now you boys can take that home, you know, and put it under your pillow. And you boil it up for breakfast. It's really nice. There you go. Oh!
Oh my god. Look at that. I don't think it really knows what it's done. <laughs> that is incredible. Look at that. Now how does nature tell it just to do that, eh? Look at that. That foal's drinking. That foal's drinking. It's on there. <laughs> this, this, that's why they're so good, they're so quick, eh? And onto it. But that's a good, healthy foal. Mare's mother in it. Everything's good. Job done. That was perfect, that one, wasn't it? Only another 150 to go. Ha, ha, ha.